Hello, guys. Zuljin here, and welcome back to another episode of Crashlands. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Guys, thank y'all so much for the amazing support on the Crashlands series. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So I'm just collecting 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 some tuskers i have like 84 now <laughs> which is pretty crazy um it's it's actually a kind of a relief to have all of these because i was kind of running out of healing items kind of getting by with the bare minimums get off me huga duka um and yeah i was getting by with the bare minimums and it kind of sucked also i can start making these awesome potions now but i'm not really fighting anything that is incredibly tough uh, it's the little yellow things that I don't have a whole lot of because these potions take like three a piece So you can see I have 85 and only 33 of these and I've been traveling quite a bit I just been doing some off-camera gathering and stuff like that mostly on my mobile phone when things are rendering or at night before I go to bed But anyway, I usually bulk record or record a few things a few videos at a time just to kind of compress time frame so there's a few things I've been reading in the comments that I kind of need to pay attention to. One, I realize that some of you guys hate the design of my house and the floors and stuff like that, but let's be let's be frank, it's functional, right? This is we can't do too much decorating without just gathering resources just to make things look differently. I'm actually okay with my house design. Number two, you guys wanted me to embiggen glowy, so I'm going to do that. Um, but first, I have to get some of this uh, ancient Glutterfly essence, and I have one more to kill for that. So we're going to try to get that done today. Also, something that I overlooked huge, wait, not this one. Something that I overlooked huge was this guy right here, D-Bot Gadget. I've been hearing a bunch of you talk about this in the comments, and I think that it's probably going to be pretty good reading back over it you'd be surprised when you're making videos it's like you don't pay attention to anything you just kind of go through it and then you read back over the comments like oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah it's like you realize a bunch of stuff anyway let's go ahead and craft this bad boy it's going to take three minutes and 30 seconds to make it so it'll be a little while i have a feeling that this is going to help me fight the glutterfly but i do have a potion that's activated right now so we're going to try to fight him anyway uh let's go ahead and go to sleep because glutterflies only come out at night and we're going to go to the other biome and head to the most northwestern point that I have saved. To the savanna. And like in the northwest corner, one of the, uh, one of the, I guess they call them waypoints or whatever, the, the pads. Right up here, you can find some glutterflies. So I'm going to look around a little bit. Uh, speed would help me fight these guys too, but as long as I have this anti-venom hooked up, it shouldn't be that bad. I should take m very, very reduced damage from them. So I just need to find one, and they're the big ones with the, like, the swollen eyes and stuff. Anyway, they look sick. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm, I'm kind of, speaking of sick, I kind of have, um, I've kind of been under the weather. There's one. I've kind of been under the weather, so if I sound funny, I'm sorry. Uh, but that's just the way it goes, okay. Yes. All right, I took a little bit of damage there, but in comparison to what I would normally take, it's not that bad. And my uh, my guy here is just gonna mess it up. Oh, now I got a bat involved. Ouch. <laughs> All right, there we go. Ouch. I can't heal fast enough. <laughs> so yeah, that sucks. He's really, really hard. Um. I might have to use a speed potion to counteract some of that stuff. Uh, let's check on what I have here. I do have... I probably need to... Do I need to use any venom? No, I sure don't. Uh, I need to use... I'm thinking instead of the store, I should probably use something that does damage over time. I might have to fight this guy the good old-fashioned way. So let's do... Poison shouldn't hurt him that much because he is a glutterfly. So I'm going to not use the poison pipe. And I'm probably just going to use some speed potions first. I, I guess I could probably use Spood Beast. That's going to improve my run speed by 5% for 20 minutes. I can go ahead and use that. And I, I really wish I could use this. But when we get close to him, we'll actually equip it. Okay. Also, let me use one of these. All right. I'll go here. I need to heal up right quick before things go go south. 
20 seconds between between uses. That's one of the bad things. Like, the potion cooldowns are much, much lower. You know, I might want to just... Do I have any of the potions? Hold on. Do I have any potions at all? I do have some stonies. That's Actually, I think that's what I'm going to use right here, the stonies. That's going to be a little bit better. All right. So once we get close... I guess what I can do is instead of the instead of this, I'm gonna go ahead and equip the flame. All right, and that's gonna help me a lot. So I have the wrench, the flame thing, the speed, and the heal. That's what I'm gonna go for. Okay, let's use a potion. We got 10 seconds before it refreshes. Let's go ahead and start this party off, shall we? Okay. Oh, an ancient shadowy wat. That is not good. All right, speed potion. Let me just get away from that guy. Oh, I was supposed to use... Oh, I'm using the poison thing on him and not the... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I messed up. I was supposed to equip the flame thing. There we go. Now we got it. All right. Did he heal up all the way? It sure did. I'm doing a little bit of damage to him. Pretty good. That was a good crit. Wow. Yeah, baby. What now, sucker? Oh, this ancient thing again. Alright, I got him. I got the bloated glutterfly essence too. I might as well kill this thing. Since he wants to play dirty. How about that? Flames. Dang. I'm, like, I'm still getting hit hard. What did he do to me? This guy is tough. And I mean tough. Alright. Maybe... Maybe I can get on him and hit him. Yeah, this guy is really, really tough. Sheesh. Really? Yeah. I don't even think I want to fight this guy, honestly. I don't know what he gives, but it's <laughs> it can't be worth it. Not at this level. I just can't, I can't hit him hard enough right now. Maybe another kind of pet or something like that. But for now, we out. All right. I got all my good stuff now. Let us go back. And I should also have that D-Bot crafted too. Hopefully. It's only it's been a few minutes since I started crafting it, so it should be done. Alright. So now I can make that, by the way. That glutterfly and beginner. Okay, we can we got the uh the D bot. Okay, so if I hit R, what can I do with the D bot? Is the D yeah, the D bot's equipable? And it looks as though this is going to be my best bet here. Something like this. Actually, I think I would rather... Let's unequip this. Let's equip the D-Bot in this position. And let's put the pan back in this position. There we go. All right. So that's a little bit better. So what's the cooldown on the D-Bot? Let's just use it. All right. 45 seconds. And this renders me invulnerable. It's not real long, but I can get in there and do some serious damage. Because this is not a stun, but especially if something's stationary, I can just wail on it. Okay. So, and the Vama is going to be doing damage. I really love the Vama. <laughs> All right. So let's see. What we what do we have to do to embiggen my, uh, my guy here? We can embiggen him. What do we need? What was it again? The flashlight. Uh, we still need... Oh, what, pearl scales. Uh, I think we can make those. Attractive people back home. I think we can make them in the fish mia. Pearl scales. Yeah, we sure can. Let's do one, two, three, four. I'll do five. I don't know how many I needed without looking at it again. All right. We made five. So now... What was it again? Here. I get so confused. Okay. 
Uh, what now? Four more. And also, we need... Wano? Appears to be the poop from a domesticated wet. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see here. We can make... Oh, yeah, we can make some Wano. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. We'll make some of that. And we need... Four more, five more pearl scales. One, two, three, four, five. And everything should be done after this, so we can go ahead. Also, guess what I found? Oh, yeah. I found one. I had to break a lot of those, um, uh, what you call it, dusk shards to get that. Now I also need to do the nitro, um, which I'll get to. Where was the nitro built again? I think in the chem station. So, let's see. Build, build. That's two of them. That's all I needed for that. So, I'll be able to... I don't know if it'll be as good or better than the weapon that I currently have. But, we'll see. Okay. Uh, Alright. So, now, do we have enough... We have enough of everything except that stuff, which we have it in here. I'll grab it. S Okay, and now we can make it. So let's make it. And this is going to embiggen our glowy to the biggest size possible. Also, I've been breaking a lot of dust shards thinking that I would get the Wampogo stick, but I haven't yet. So that's why I can't embiggen um, Cutie Patootie to the next size. So 55 seconds before we do that. Uh, let's see. What else did I want to check out here? There was something else I wanted to look at that I had to keep forgetting. Oh, by the way, I know that water balloons, uh, by the way, guys, can, um, can grow my crops instantly. I just always forget about them. I did want to try it out, though. Uh, the bad thing is, like, you can't, you can't just switch back and forth. Like, if I would just want to use this, for instance, and, like, you have to put the water bombs on your hot bar... So you can't just use, you see that? Which kind of sucks. Uh, let's use S. I'll just show you guys what it looks like. See? Bam! They grew. And these I can grow like that too, which is pretty awesome. What's weird is you can. I would need something to throw that at, which is kind of weird. So anyway, <laughs> that's how it looks though. I'm just going to grab these two. Okay. So yeah, you can grab, you can grow those instantly. I could put dirt in the middle of here and make the splash bigger and all that sort of stuff. But in my opinion, it's it's usually not worth it. If you have enough crops, they'll just continue to grow. Okay, bam, there we go. All right, now can we? We can embig and glowy. Got the flashlight or the hive lighter or whatever it's called. Okay, give him the hive lighter and here we go. First epic creature. Glowy is growing. It's so big! <laughs> Alright. So this is the epic sized Glowy. This is the biggest pet that we currently have. And, oh, she looks evil now. Alright, we'll take her for now and see how it goes. She <laughs> she looks evil now. Alright, what do we need to embig in the vomit? Um, We already did that. The fox sacks, right? Uh, let's see here. The fox sacks. This would be, no, the tempered vomit essence. So that's something that we can look for. I don't know if we have enough to do it. There is a quest that I would like to complete too. Remember this place right here, how we were supposed to bring them the, oh no, we did the potion things. What was the next quest that we had to do? Let's take a look at it. I know I'm all over the place, guys, but cold medicine, you know? Uh, yeah, petty theft, sprouting a nerva. Uh, we did that, and that, but they should be grown by now. That's why I grabbed the water bombs in the first place. Okay, so where do we have to go for that? I think we have to go here for that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go further out to venture out. I'm gonna have to go further. I'm gonna have to venture out to see that. Oh, um, apparently the Nerva did not grow yet. I had planted the Nerva, didn't I? Okay, well, I can make them grow. That's not a big deal. I only have eight of the seeds. We need to harvest a few more, I guess. I did all of this already. 
this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back to my place we're gonna get a bunch of um, we're gonna make a bunch of it I don't think I can make any more of that dirt I had looked quite a bit for around for that dirt let me see if I can make any more of it I don't think I can uh, yeah this was the stuff right here no I'm short one more to make more of it it's okay though all right so let's harvest these It'll be the easiest way to do this, I think. 10 nervous seeds. 12 nervous seeds. All right. Uh, in fact, I'll just plant four more right here. And I'll use... I'll go back to the water bombs. Where are they at? There they are. Okay. Okay, we got some more nervous seeds. I'm not really getting ahead doing that, am I? <laughs> not really. Uh, okay, fine. Let's go. Let's go back, and I'll plant what I can there, and just harvest some in the wild, I guess. Um, let's see. No, that's the wrong place. Well, I can harvest some while I'm here, though. Oh, and there's one more of my, uh, those dirts that I needed. Awesome. The resource spawning must kind of happen randomly because I swear I've been here before and harvested all of this stuff. I guess the nodes just kind of respawn. All right. Give me some nervous seeds, man. There's another one. 14. I don't know how many I'm going to need, but I have a feeling that I'm probably pretty close. Let's harvest one more of these things. No nervous seeds. Naturally. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna plant. All right. Nervous seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I'm gonna need four more. That's not that bad. I can get those relatively easy, or I should be able to. Lord knows I have enough of that stuff. Whatever that is, that My Myra or whatever. I don't know. Nothing there. Come on. Oh, there's some. I was about to say, come on. Just because I need some. There's only one? Lame. I need more. Don't worry. We're going to test out Glowy too. Right now, we'll test it out. Zero. Oh man. Glowy's not good against those. Got 22 points. Oh, I see. Alright. It is taking damage over time. I'll try it a little bit. I know I'm guilty of, of using a. Uh, of not uh, giving the pets enough time. Let's see. How many, did, how many more did I need? Four? I'm not having much luck. Still none. Oh, I need these yellow things for potions, though. I can get some of those. Alright, here's another one of these. Nervous. Dude. Give me nervous seeds. Quit being so stingy. Nervous seeds. Four. I think that was enough. Alright, Nervous Seeds 5. I'm just gonna go ahead and break this. Okay, I gotta get away so I don't die. Uh, and I could teleport straight there. Let's go back to town. Okay. Now. Let's plant more Nervous. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm glad I got that 5th one. Okay, and let them grow. And now I'm going to use... Just like this. I wonder if I can hit all of them from here. Alright. They are all fully grown now. 
And I should be able to, yeah, complete the quest now. Okay, let's see. Aliens, you have done me a great preening. I have been close to rank swapping chicks for a long time, and your actions have made it happen. You have accomplished what you promised, and I will do the same. However, I do not yet have that information. Oh, come on. It is probable that Ukarank has the information you seek. Meet me in the throne room. Alright, so I guess we have to go through... Okay, there's the throne room. Here we go. Well now, Kroon, you have been working to become my lesser for as long as I can remember. Congratulations are in order. Thank you, Crank. Before you leave, I have a favor to ask for these disordered. Flux and juice box. Ooh, Crank, what do you know of Hukaduka's location? Location. Hukaduka, that is no small request. While these disordered may have proven valuable to you, you have to value me. I must deny this request. Groans. <laughs> Surely there is something we can do for you, oh Crank. Perhaps this... Perhaps a nest of significant important has come. Wait, import has come under siege by a mighty Wojak named Bubbles. Bubbles, this is no laughing matter. My nest mate, to, nest mate, Tu Chu Chu, <laughs> is there. I fear he may already be dead. Okay, so we have a favor paid is a favor earned. Tu Chu's station is northwest of the Yellowstone. All right, so there's Tu Chu's station. And we got another quest here. I do tire of being the looster around here. Are there any other ways to change your rank? It's a bit of a mystery. A variety of things may carry favor with the bog or may not. I dropped to looster because I thought planting Nerva near the acid pool would be good conservation effort. The resulting lightning charge built up a quiet land then, on the third day, a rooster from a nearby roost walked by. She exploded as did my rank. <laughs> that sounds like a hard system to navigate. Low feedback and punishing consequences. It is, and I need help for my next scheme to get the croons and my rank. But my arms are too small. Do you even lift? <laughs> the comedy's great. Never. Would you aid me? I need to take out several creatures on our wanted list. Out of control beast. Sure, where can we find them? The first is a large vama named Jibbles. She ate the previous rooster yet still roams free. She could be anywhere. All right, I guess I'm going to have to look around for this. But that's going to wrap it up for this video, you guys. Next time we come back, I guess we're going to play around with some of the other quests. And maybe even try to get a couple more materials to, to upgrade some of our stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series, guys. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time. And I'll tell you what, this is incredible, man. Oh, <laughs> and it just kind of gets back up. If you press down, it does the same thing again.